This is a screencast that shows uh, the basic setup and usage of Pelican HPC. Pelican HPC is a CD image that can be used to um, boot a computer. Uh, then that computer can be used to net boot other computers. The first computer I refer to as the front end node and the other computers are the compute nodes and together they uh, form a cluster which can be used for parallel computing using MPI, the message passing in interface. And in this screencast I'm going to set up a virtual cluster using um, Sun VirtualBox. Uh, this is a going to be a two node cluster. Here we see two virtual machi machines, the front end and a compute node. The front node, front end node is set to boot from the CD-ROM image, which is in fact going to be the uh, image file, the ISO image file. And the front end node, we can see, has two network adapters. The first uses NAT and to bridge to my real internet connection. So I'll have internet available in the front end node. And the second network adapter is uh, connects to the internal network, which is what the cluster runs on. And that's the network that will be used to boot the compute node. It's important that uh, the network that you use for clustering be isolated from other networks because the Pelican HPC front end node runs a DHPC, DHCP server, which will interfere with other DHCP servers. Okay, the compute node you can see boots over the network and its network adapter goes to the internal network. Now we're booting the front end node. This is the splash screen. I'm going to hit the tab key and type in the option to use a Spanish keyboard. And then when I press enter, the front end node begins booting. Notice that it's about 12:16 uh, here when we start booting the front end node. Okay, the front end node got an IP address on the first uh, net device, and now it's searching for an IP address on the second net device, which is the uh, network the. Uh, cluster runs on. Since I know it won't find anything there, I'll cancel that with control C to speed up booting. Now we have the option of uh, using real storage, uh, which allows you to reuse the uh, results of Pelican HPC. But by default, uh, storage is in a RAM disk, and everything disappears when the cluster is turned off. We'll use the default here. Next we can given the option of copying some example programs over, we'll do that so we have something to run later on. And finally we have to set a password, which is the password on the front end node and the compute nodes. So here I log in with the username user and the password that I just specified. And now we're booted, we're all logged into the front end node. To begin setting up a cluster, we need to run the Pelican setup script, which starts services on the front end node that allow the compute nodes to netboot. Remember, we have two net devices. The cluster is going to be in the second net device. Now the net device is configured, and we need to start services. Now, right there, we scanned over the internal network to see if any compute nodes were booted. Obviously, they aren't because we haven't turned them on yet. And now we can go over to VirtualBox and start the compute node. Compute node is booting. It finds the server and begins net booting using, using the files provided from the front end node. The 
compute node receives its file system from the front end node using the same compressed file system image. And uh, that fact guarantees that all the compute nodes in the front end node share the same software, uh, which is very helpful to keep things uh, synchronized when we're trying to run things in parallel. Okay, the compute node is all booted up. And we can go back to the front end node. If I repress enter, it scans the network and now the compute node has been found. You can see it says one compute node. And now we finish configuring the uh, parallel computing environment on the front end node. We have two nodes available, the front end node and the compute node. To see an example of uh, usage, let's look at an example for GNU Octave, which uh, does parallel computing. This script is called Parallel Performance, and what it does is uh, run some computations first on the compute node, the front end node only. And once it's done on the front end node, it'll do the same computation computations using both the front end node and the compute node. And that way we'll be able to verify that uh, using the cluster can give us a speed up. Now the timings that are obtained in this uh, screencast are not accurate because my computer is simultaneously encoding the video of the screencast as well as running two virtual machines. So timings are not, uh, not really relevant. Um, if you were to use a real cluster without encoding going on in the background, you would see a good performance gain when you use two, two nodes compared to one. Okay, it took 47.9 seconds on the front end node, and now it's using both nodes, the front end and the compute node. We can see that on the compute node, CPU activity has, has begun to take place, and there's an octave process on the compute node. took 47.9 seconds with one node, which is the front end only. And now we just saw the results appear for two nodes. It took uh, 37.6 seconds using the front end and the compute node. Now again, those timings aren't really uh, relevant because of uh, the background activity of encoding plus the fact that this is a virtual cluster. But it just shows you an example of how you can do parallel computing on a cluster. Now the front-end node does have an internet connection, so we can install software onto the front-end node. Uh, this is an example. You might want a different editor or, or some other uh, convenient software on the front-end node. If you want to install software that's available for the entire cluster, you need to install it into Home User, which is NFS Shared. Uh, otherwise, you can use the Make Pelican script to create your own version of Pelican HPC. Okay, have fun with Pelican HPC.